It is the 3rd of February. I've been having uh, a moment, a moment which has so far lasted about three days where I have not filmed anything. This is because I have been busy because every now and then I will be going about my day when suddenly I get a message from my friend Rebecca and she will say, hey, I'm making a new animation. Do you want to do some storyboards? And the answer is always yes, because I always want to do storyboards. And then I start doing storyboards and then I forget everything else uh, exists. I keep going to pick up the camera and thinking, no, 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 I'm, I'm storyboarding. I'm in storyboarding mode. I'm too busy. But then I remembered that being busy is the things that I'm supposed to be filming. So three days late, here is me doing some of that storyboarding work. I don't know which will come out first. So just in case I'm going to obscure the things that I show you so that you can't possibly glean any spoilers. Have a look at some of these cool things that I've drawn. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Can you guess what's happening in the video? Boy, get ready for this spoiler. It's, it's nothing. <laughs> Truly not even that sure what my plan was for this one, but I liked it enough that I drew it again. So that is kind of the basic method is I do those little thumbnail sketches on paper in very rough as you can see and then I have that next to me whilst I make them look slightly neater in Photoshop. Now this is still a sketching phase. I'm gonna do the sketches in purple and eventually I'll go over it in a very dark grey and that'll be the neater line art because even my neat versions of sketches are pretty unreadable to anyone but me. That's my process and I'm gonna go do that 83 times in a row. Actually more than that because I'm not done yet. It's gonna be closer to 120 times in a row. Look at this brave adventurer. Hi! What a lovely time you're having. <laughs> But he will. There it is. <laughs> gone. Immediately gone. <laughs> there he is. What is your most boring prediction for this movie? At some point, Michelle Pfeiffer will be handed a document. That's a good one. I was going to say there'd be at least one bird. Yes, 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 okay. yes, yes. Dehan and I got so caught up after Ant-Man in talking about Ant-Man that I didn't tell you guys about Ant-Man. Definitely a movie, but I'm always partial to anything with Paul Rudd in. Not a single document was passed to Michelle Pfeiffer and, more surprisingly, there was not a single bird. And I was watching that sky, ironically, like a hawk. Oh. Look at that, past five o'clock. Time for me to commute from my work editing window to my little <laughs> moments editing window. Hi, and welcome to my Twilight t-shirt. I'm nearly done with Little Moments January, kind of in the final export and reviewing phase. Tom's is already out. Dan's is about to go out in two hours from now, so you'll have already seen that as well. Then there's me. I just kept forgetting, as much as I've been forgetting to film, I also just kept forgetting to edit. I was like, oh, there's, there's stuff that I need to do. Yeah, as you would have already seen, there really hasn't been much footage from February. But March, it's always March. Or I've got like 12 days left to do some really exciting stuff. Let's cut to that, actually. I'm gonna try and feed Kiki some seaweed. Oh, she's definitely interested. Not sure? Oh my goodness. I can't believe you're being so choosy about this. Be eat my spider plant with free abandon. Kiki, I once watched you try to eat a Tesco carrier bag. You can't tell me you don't like this. The world has changed. I feel it in the water. <laughs> Well, I have an update, and it's maybe not the update you want, but it's the update that I have. The bed sheet is now gone. I know uh, some of us, me included, were really hoping that the bed sheet would be a running joke that could go the distance. 
maybe last the year, but alas, some things just don't work out that way. But with the end of a very short era comes a brand new mystery because let me tell you about when the bedsheet went away. Here is the timeline as I understand it. At 2.30 p.m. on the 17th of February, the bedsheet was still there. I know this for a fact because I had a Zoom meeting at 2.30 p.m. and I was sat right there for that meeting, which is opposite the window that I could see the bedsheet from. And I looked up at the bedsheet and I thought, wow, after this meeting, I should film the bedsheet to show that it's still there. I forgot to do that, but I saw it. Four and a half hours later, Little Moments, January 2023, goes live. Half an hour after that, it was gone. The bedsheet is there for, I would say, nearly seven weeks at this point. So my question is this, does the bedsheet owner watch my channel? Anyway, long story short, the sheet is gone. I'm very sorry. I can keep putting the same shots of it, just like interspersed throughout the months if you miss it, kind of like an in memoriam, but I wanted to be upfront about this. I wanted to show you the reality of the situation, which is that sometimes running jokes, they don't run for very long. It's more of a, more of a sprint. Kiki. What's he thinking? Well, I, hello. Preps are traditional. Correct. And then we'll make the American fluffier ones for pudding. So on this pancake day, yeah. you are pitching pancakes for dinner. Citrus is vaguely savoury, isn't it? And then pancakes for dessert. Yeah. Sometimes you use sugar to balance out the sharpness of tomatoes. So it can be used in savoury dishes. Are there tomatoes in these crepes? If you want them to be, but I would suggest no. Sif, 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 sif. I can't even tell you how cool. Hey. Yeah, I mean, fine. it landed back in the pan. And then like, well, more than that. <laughs> you want to leave its little mouth <laughs> so, so that it doesn't get, hey. so that it doesn't get too warm. Oh, it's little like, eyes as well. Oh, hey. Oh, it's pancake day. <laughs> I know. Oh, good for you. Hi. <laughs> I'm a pancake on pancake day. I didn't sabotage her on purpose. It's just quite convenient that we didn't get either of your failed pancakes on camera. Well, it looks fine folded, Dan. Crisp. Should if you can, make it? yeah, 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 yeah. And then cut there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Chloe cut back to this. Well, brilliantly, that went off screen as well. God, yeah. it, it was <laughs> un remarkable. It didn't stick to the ceiling. Round two. Here we go. Now we're doing dessert pancakes. Yes. <laughs> you could be wrong. But it doesn't... I'm getting flashbacks to the time I introduced you to Drag Race. It's not dissimilar to that, I have to say. You're gonna cut to, like, in about four days' time and I'll have watched six series <laughs> and be like, well, what next? I already drank my tea, but pretend that I didn't, and this is very aesthetic. Pretend this is a really good tea-pouring shot. Chloe, add, add some, <laughs> use like VFX, yeah, it's a special effects right here to show that the tea is pouring. I just start referencing an editor that I don't have off screen and pretending that I have my own editor. Yeah, Jason. Oh yeah, I guess it's Jason. Today is a work from home day. I get a couple of work from home days a week and I have a number of different setups around the house that I use depending on how my back is feeling or how I'm feeling emotionally i guess today is a bed day which looks a bit like this i'll be like leaning up in the corner against all these pillows and then you got my laptop which is on a kind of stand that my flatmate got me from ikea which is under a blanket and oh what's this it's my desk cat and it is eight minutes until the end of the working day and it's still kind of light outside like not bright daylight light but it's not pitch black, which is good for eight minutes to six. I will sign off work in a little bit, and then I'm going to get ready to play some online D&D. &D. Last we left off, there was a floating island with a dragon, but it certainly seems to be a conflict of interest with our floating island that we are currently on. If we do get into combat, it will be my first time doing combat with my new character, Nova. She's a barbarian half-orc. I've always been like either a dexterity or a charisma build, and I'm a strength build, so interested to see how that goes. I don't know what she's looking at. Hey. What? Who's that? Is that you? Who else? Oh, just you. Oh, I do apologise. I forgot it was your, your channel. 
Yeah. For those wondering, this is the POV. Hi. She's so close that my camera can't focus properly. Look at this. Get, get your toes off my book. <gasps> Do you mean no? Kiki. Hey, Mario. Hi. <laughs> it's the last day of February. I was really excited to show you about where I work now and kind of what we do in a working day because you guys haven't seen that yet. Then there was this fire alarm and now what I'm doing for a living is standing outside. This is Quill. We work together and now we're standing outside together. Well, happy to report we survived the fire because there wasn't one. This is... This is where I work. This is the craft studio. I realized I'm doing this on the day when there's not very many people in. There's 10 of us in the team. Today only me and Quill are in studio because I'm only in a couple days a week depending on who's filming what. So we have crafters, they make crafts, and we have videographers. That's me. And we videograph. So if ever you're scrolling TikTok or Snapchat, whatever your poison is, and you see one of those videos where it's some disembodied hands and they're sawing a barbie in half or decorating a cupcake there's a very good chance that it's our channel i don't know how else to explain it much like most jobs i've had this is one of those ones where it's difficult to describe i mean i'm sure you guys get it because you're here you're on the internet with me uh so you know about things like tiktok and snapchat it's one of those things where if i'm filling in a form there is a space that's marked occupation I don't know what to put. I guess I could just show you some of the stuff that we've made. You kind of just point yourself in any direction in this room and you're gonna find something that one of our very talented crafters made. And as they were making it, one of our very talented videographers, myself included, would have filmed it. So that's what I get up to in my nine to five. I personally think it's pretty cool. Would you like to see the scariest drawer in the world? It's full of sharp things. Would you like to see the actual scariest drawer in the world? It's full of Barbie parts. Hi. Well, bye then. So here we are. The last 20 minutes of February. I write daily to-do lists. And they're very thorough. Including things like... Wake up. Go to work. Go home. Last thing on my to-do list today is... Download little moments, February footage. And I'd love to, but I literally can't until I stop filming this clip. Mm -hmm. 